Yo, yo, what's going on out there, world? Welcome back to the channel, man. This your boy, Hood Films. What's good? I'm hitting y'all up, man. I'm finna just chat with y'all about some of the stuff going on around the world while I roll up this little definite backwood I'm putting together. Yo, yo, what's going on out there, world? Welcome back to the channel, man. This your boy, Hood Films. What's good? I'm hitting y'all up, man. I'm finna just chat with y'all about some of the stuff going on around the world while I roll up this little definite backwood I'm putting together. Yo. Bobby Shmurda is getting out, man. It's all talking about the young boy coming home. He uh, did about like six and a half. They say he's getting out like 10 months earlier. So uh, he's been locked up since 2014. So now uh, him and his homies, Roddy Rebel, and the rest of the crew of GS9 boys are going to be out here doing their thing. So I wonder in the comments, let me know what y'all think about that. Like and comment, and uh, we'll chat about it in the comments. What you think about the young boy, uh, Bobby Shmurda, coming home? Do you think it's a good thing? Do you think it's just crazy? You know what I'm saying? I know he did a long time. I think the rumor was that, well, I think it is no rumor because I know Roddy Rebel, I saw the interviews with him. He's, he had spoke with uh, Funkmaster Flex and Roddy Rebel, the young guy, he was like, uh, he got out a few months earlier and uh, they asked him uh, uh, what happened during a moment when they was taking a plea years ago in 2014. And he said that, uh, that they just came and picked them, got them up one morning brought them out to the uh, one of the courtrooms and asked them straight out, like, what y'all gonna do? Y'all gonna try to plead? And he said that uh, they was asking one of the other homies to take a lower price, lower time on his his case too. So it looked like that uh, Bobby Shmurda went on ahead and took a, a deal where he was gonna get out with everybody else instead of getting out earlier. So that sounds like some real noble shit that he did because, you know, sitting in the prison is not cool. But then doing it for your homies and shit, you know, that even works sometimes. So I think that that worked out for him he gonna come home and I know what's the biggest deal is that he gonna be putting new music out is everybody gonna be waiting on to see his new music that he dropping so y'all let me know what kind of uh, fans y'all are Bobby Shmurda and all that good stuff hit me up in the comment section let me know what y'all think about his new music if it's gonna be hot if it's gonna be whack you know what I'm saying I'm, I'm, with, I'm willing to uh, chat with y'all about that I know his big famous so you know what I'm saying but it's other stuff that he got going and I know he been writing and sitting up in there You've been in that six and a half years. You've definitely been doing some writing. So, you know what I'm saying? The rumor is that he's home already. And then there's a rumor saying he's not home. And I was just listening to Breakfast Club. And he was breaking down the uh, situation with his uh, release. And saying that his mother called TMZ saying that she was going to try to make sure he was home for dinner. A dinner with them and everything like that. So, you know, you get locked up the way they did was crazy. They got locked up uh, with the whole uh, RICO case where they come down and lock everybody up for some situation that they approve, that they feel like they can prove that you did. And most time the feds, they'll just ask you to plead out for it because otherwise going to trial, you're going to get the hit, hit real hard for uh, fighting it. And that's the whole idea of not putting yourself in that predicament because they definitely going to be trying to sit you down, especially if you fight it. So he uh, went in there and uh, took a plea deal and he did a six and a half. But I know right now they got Hood Rich Pablo Juan. I listen to Shorty Music. He locked up right now on the Rico. I, I don't know all the details, but he been gone for a while now. He, he been sitting in the uh, thing fighting his case. I'm, I'm familiar. I don't know if y'all familiar with his raps, but Shorty he, he he that's how I know him from the rap songs. And he he definitely uh, got some got some dope for rhymes and shit. So I don't know if he gonna get out or whatever. But you know I'm glad Bobby Schmurter got out because he he did enough time sitting up in there fighting that little case he was dealing with, and you know. So if y'all out there, man, y'all better be careful, man, because they watching the phones, they watching online, they watching everything you do. So don't put yourself in that predicament because I'm sure people are going to be trying to interview him and see what he got to say about sitting in there all that time. You know it was not cool. You know, a lot of times they'd be in there and you'd be forgetting them. Like, that. that's right, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, that's right. My little brother did 20 years, so I know the whole idea of uh, having a family member or even a friend in there and then you just don't get a chance to see him, you don't get a chance to you know, talk to him no more. It's just crazy. So you just, you know, welcome home to the little bro. So that's all I got to say on that, man. So I'll hit y'all up in a minute. Definitely like in the comments and uh, like and subscribe and leave a comment and hit the notification bell. And I'll holler at y'all another story in a few minutes. This your boy Hood signing off at Hood Films, man. Holla.